Hello, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for tuning in. I am Pastor Jennifer, running this channel, Time to Change. Let us continue with our spiritual journey through the Gospel of Matthew, looking forward to some good change God can and will bring into our hearts, doors, and everyday life. Today's portion is Matthew 4, 1. Let me read it from the NASB version of the Bible. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. The verb that I'd like to focus on here is to tempt, which is anago in Greek. Because this verb is in the passive form, Jesus is in the place of a testee, I mean test taker, and devil, a uh, tester. Why was Jesus tested? Was there any more credit for him to earn to prove that he was the Son of God? Was the anointing of the Holy Spirit at his baptism not real? Was the voice of God that said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased not real? Was the dignity or majesty of him that had been revealed through all this in vain as a whole? And does his being a testee mean that he is weaker or lower than the devil? My answer is not really. It is still true that Jesus Christ is God. He is the Son of God as is testified by the Bible itself, so he is God. John the Baptist is one of the strongest witnesses among all. It is also true that he has been anointed by the Spirit at his baptism. See, in today's passage, he did not go to the wilderness by himself. He was led up by the Spirit, the Spirit of God. It means that the testing was God's will, and Jesus was obeying that. One more thing, God had a good purpose for the testing. Job 23.10 says, But he knows the way I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. I trust that Jesus also was holding on to this word. What is more noteworthy is that temptation is one of the biggest challenges for mankind. It's everywhere and all over in human life, and they are easily hooked and fall. It will not be difficult for you to share one recent experience. It's not difficult for me either. 1 John 3.8 says, The one who practices sin is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. The devil is still at work. So 1 Peter 5 8 says, Be of sober spirit, be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. And the next verse says, But resist him, firm in your faith knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. We have good news though. It is the second half of 1 John 3, 8 that says, The Son of God appeared for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. The kind of war began on the earth between the devil who tried to seduce the souls into sin and the Son of God, we came to destroy the devil's works and protect us people from sinning. The first known battlefield is the wilderness that Jesus was led up to. The devil had another dream. He wanted to tempt Jesus, the Son of God, to fall. And now Jesus was in the flesh. It was a great opportunity for the devil to give it a try. But no worries, as is testified by the verse of today. Jesus knew the devil, his enemy, and was fully aware of what he was going to do. The devil did not deserve any bit of attention from Jesus, but he was aware of the devil's scheme and even was ready to be tested by him. It is not for himself, but for the sake of his own in the world. Praise be to Jesus Christ, who was in the flesh like us and is willing to face and win victory over the devil for our sake. What about the power difference between the two? Whose power do you think was and is greater? 
We will find out more in the coming episodes, but let me share just one Bible verse for now. It is 1 John 4, 4. You are from God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. It applies to us as well, as long as we belong to Jesus and follow his steps, being led by the same Spirit that led Jesus. We will be victors, no matter what the devil, the notorious tempter and deceiver tries to do. Let me close with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for Jesus who came to this earth to destroy the works of the devil for us. Help us discern your will and do it just as Jesus did always. Help us stand firm in faith, no matter how hard the devil tempts us to fall. We just want to be and remain as spiritual victors for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is all for today. Thanks for watching. If you find this Bible devotion series helpful, consider subscribing. It's free. And hit the little bell notification also so that you will not miss a new video. God bless you all and see you next time.